Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we got an animal. We're gonna draw a snarling, snarling, snarling. <laughs> I can't talk. A snarling wolf. Right. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So center point of my page is approximately here. So I'd say that's where the eyes are gonna be, right? Just along this sort of middle line, okay? Just along here. And we'll start with the right eye, okay? So, let's go. Boom. One, two, three, up. So we'll go diagonal up. First. And then it kind of curves across the top. Here. And then we kind of stick out a little bit and then it comes down. Like so. And then we'll bring it down to the front like this. Okay, so kind of like a lemon or sort of a pointy lemon, you know, and we're going sort of diagonal, right? So his iris then, so we got like a sort of a half circle just in here, okay? And then the pupil up the top. Colored in black, like so. And, you know, if you want, you can add um, a highlight, you know, like a circle like that. You could put hatching for a shadow around that eye. Totally optional, though, like that. And, of course, in around here is all dark black. Right, like so. Okay, we'll go over and do the other eye. So, with distance-wise, I would say you can go the width of his eye, right? So between, you go once, twice, and then that's where the next eye will start. So the width of this eye, one, two, approximately, okay? And then that's where the next eye will start. You do pretty much the same thing again. So you go diagonal up, and then we'll curve it over the top, like so, and we make this sort of pointy at the end, and then we'll curve down, and then bring it down to that point down here. And then his iris again, half circle, underneath, there, and then pupil, Just there, black circle. You can add a highlight if you want. Get some hatching. So these lines just show a bit of shadow. If you're doing pencil, which I, which I recommend, you could like shade it in more gradually, but I have a black marker, so I can only do sort of hatching lines. So then the rest of that is black or shade it in real dark, like so. Okay, so. So in canine sort of animals, right, and cats and things I think is the same, the distance between the eyes is the same as the distance between the nose, say the middle of the nose and the eyes. So you got this triangle going on, right? So like here, so if you went whatever width your eyes are, bring that down and that, you'll find the center of the dog's nose then, right? So here to here, same as there to there, okay? Right down this middle, okay? You could even measure it with a ruler, you know? So it's roughly there and then you'd measure the exact same, yeah, it's, about 10 centimeters on my page, so 10, 10 centimeters between the pupils, and bring that down, 10, and that, that finds the middle of the nose, the middle of the dog's nose, okay? So that's the kind of proportion we're working with. So, once we know where the middle of his nose is, we'll just come up a little bit and do the top, right? So we'll just do a sort of a curved line, just coming across the top of his nose, okay? 
comes across like that. And then his nostrils curve down the side, like so. And then we have these sort of sections on the inside. So we've got like, it's kind of a curving, spiraling sort of shape. So it comes up and around into here, like so, okay. Or it kind of looks like a letter D maybe, you know, capital letter D, kind of. Is that just me? Maybe it is. <laughs> so, and then the bottom of the nose will sort of come down from here, right? So we'll curve around. Like so, and then the other side curves around, up, like so, right? And then there could be like a middle line coming right down the center, like so. And then some sort of hatching lines just here on the edge, maybe a line coming across the top with some hatching lines down here as well. So on the inside of his nose, you can add some like shadow just inside there. Doesn't have to be completely black. You can you can shade it like if you want. And then you can add um, some extra little detail lines coming around his nose. Some more hatching sort of coming up the side of his nose. So like you're just adding sort of wrinkles and things. And, well, if you want, you could just color the whole thing black. That's perfectly acceptable as well. Okay, so then the wolf is snarling, right? So line comes down the middle of his nose, right? And then also sort of come out the side like this. And then curve out around the other side. And this will go up. So they're they're both going to go sort of relatively straight up now. So it'll go like this way. And it can be a hairy line, you know, kind of like that, if you want. Same sort of thing. Up here, so it's gonna like curve around and it's into his snout, right? So it'll go come out from the top of his nose. So, well, we got another line first, actually, just on top of the nose, just here, like another sort of skin line or something, just on top of his nose, there, right? And then this fold is gonna come out from the top, curve it around to there and then we do pretty much the same thing on this side they can be hairy lines if you want or straight lines you know it's not either way is fine it can be a sketchy line or a straight line and then on here he'll have you know some of those um, sort of whisker dots is the only thing I can describe them as sort of they go back sort of up the snout this way. So the kind of thing you would expect to see sort of on a big cat or something, but wolves apparently have them too. Like so. Right, so then more snarling sort of lines. So we'll go out around and in towards the middle of the nose. Another one curves out here. Like that. 
and we got like a bit of a line going up the middle so like just like a hatching sort of sketchy hairy line kind of like that right so we're kind of got this square sort of snout right in the middle with a line up the middle and eyes either side so then rest of his folds for skin snarls and stuff on his snout here another one this side like so and then we'll have some more sort of hairy lines just in here and right so then he's got um a sort of cluster of hair coming up around his eyebrow sort of here right and it's got sometimes you can have whiskers coming out of this right and they're on both sides so kind of So they don't have to be perfectly even on both sides. Um, you can have some lines going that way, like so. And then he has a big fluffy sort of eyebrow coming around here. It goes back in towards the corner of his eye, in like that. And we give him an eyelid. Like so and then he's got hairy line coming around for the bottom of his eye and this will come up to that towards that corner again there can be some hairy lines on that and we'll do same thing on this side so kind of like just bags under his eyes except it's fur like so, like that. Do, 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 do. Right, we'll come down now and do his teeth. So that's sort of snarling area, okay? So we'll do the top teeth first, right? So coming down from his top lip, we have fang sticking out here. So. Coming out like so, and they can be kind of curly, you know, they're not like super sharp or anything. Like that. And I think he's got a gum along it there. Okay. Pretty much the same over here. So we got another sort of sharp big fang sticking out like so. And his gum will come down the side. All right. Roughly like that. And then we have six teeth that come along in the middle right so there's two small ones in the middle so you just bump like so and then one goes out there and then another one goes in behind this fang another one here and then up towards this fang and then this one sticks out like so back in it's, the, the ones in the middle are like real small. Like so. And these ones aren't sharp. Really. They're just like. Like so. And then we got like gum lines. Coming across here. Might be a bit of a shadow underneath there. Okay. Now, so underneath there, we have some fangs that stick up, right? So nearly touching, we have big fangs on the side. So kind of stick up here like that. around the back there then another one 
big fang on this side. Down to here. And then we have a layer of teeth that come along the bottom, but you can kind of only see the top of them, right? So you got like bumping sort of lines and they're kind of, they can be flat, kind of come along the top there. And these have like tooth lines along the top here, six of them as well. And then you can see the backs of them because we're sort of looking down into his mouth. that and then his tongue sort of comes along here. Then a line just going straight down his mouth. You have some hatching there and then the side of his tongue and like sort of gum line and stuff. So like tongue comes up here and then his gum line goes back that way. So then the side of his mouth, so dogs have that black sort of gum line, right? So side of his mouth comes out like so and comes down like this, right? So it comes out down both sides, comes down right down around the bottom of his chin. And this will come, there might, might be a hairy sort of chin line area down here. Like that. And most of this will be colored black, but we do have like a sort of a gum, a line down here that comes around for his gum line down here. So it's like pink and red inside this. And outside that is like mostly black. And I think Yeah, I think I will I'll color it in black. Right, so next, dog's face, right? So coming up from the chin, right? So we're gonna go sort of a hairy sort of line coming up this way, right? Like so. You can do something similar on the other side. So sketchy sort of Hairy kind of lines. So it depends on how you feel about sketchy hairy lines, what way you want to do that. So go up like so. And then on sides of, sides of his face, he has some fur that like sticks out right over here. And then we'll go back up his head. Like so. Right, and then over here. So we're kind of, we got a part of his face that goes into his body, where it touches his fur. And then the rest will So this is the piece of fur that goes into his body and then we've like a line. Like so, right, so then, so inside here then we have various lines for his face as well. So, so like coming up from the corner of his mouth and here, like a line that goes up this way. And then a line that like comes down like so. And then around to here joins this one. And maybe something else here. And some more sort of furry lines like this. 
and this line goes up further around like so, right? So the reason this one's pointy and this one isn't is because he, some of his back is here, his head is turned, right? So it's like meshing into his body. So, so we just add some more facial lines coming down here. So that goes down into his corner of his mouth, like this side. And then maybe like another sort of line coming down there. And then one for the side of his face. Coming down that way and then something similar. Coming down towards the chin. Like so. Mm -hmm. And we should have like an extra line here coming up around for the for the head just here to try and keep it sort of symmetrical just there. Right. Okay. So the top of the head is like here somewhere. So it like just comes across. both sides, so it'll come across like here, and down, join this sort of area, like that, and you could have like a line coming down the middle, and you know, some lines going that way, just to show the furry sort of nature of his head. You can do as much of this as you'd like. You can build it up as much as you want. You can thicken up edge lines, you know, you can, like so. And right, so about here, he, so we've got like a big ear, okay? So on this side. So one ear is like turned away and one ear is facing us. So this ear, Starts, let's see. So like just above kind of his the corner of his eye. So it's like here. Am I right? Yeah, just above here. Sort of a hairy kind of line and then comes up like so and then we'll go around. And then in interior lines, so like in inside of the ear. Like so, and then some lines that go up the middle, like. This and then, th so his other ear kind of goes up similar, but this it looks like this ear is kind of turned away from us in the picture I'm drawn from. So Okay, so what was I saying? So this ear, right? So it's like he's listening to us front on this ear. And then he's kind of listening to the side on this ear. So animals like this can do that, which is kind of cool if you think about it. 
So this here will go pretty much up that way. So he's looking at the camera, listening, and then listening over there at the same time. Like so, and then, so this will sort of have a sort of hairy line coming down there, side of the head. Like so, and then the inner ear comes up around there. And we got like some hairlines going this way. And some hatching sort of on the inside. And again, sometimes thickening up. The edge lines can help make your image sort of stick out a little bit more. Now, so if you want, you can leave your picture like this, or you can add a back and a neck and more detail. So, so like in terms of like neck and back, sort of fluffy, sort of furry lines coming down like so. And then his back comes right off at the top of the ear up here, like like in line with the top of the head. So it goes like, back like so. And he's very furry and sort of all frilly and stuff. And this sort of meshes with his shoulder. So like I said, like that's why this one isn't pointy, right? And this one is pointy. So we have his shoulder sort of here. Come down like so. And that comes out around there. And as much hair and stuff as you want. So real big gnarly wolf. So just adding more sort of fur lines. Coming down here. Like so. Right, but I think that'll do, what do you think? That is how to draw a snarling wolf. I hope it was helpful, and as usual guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, bye.